Hello friends. In this video, we will study some features of 8051 microcontroller. So let us start with our topic. The 8051 microcontroller, it is the most famous general purpose microcontroller designed by Intel in 1981. And this microcontroller, it is a 40 pin IC. It has a 40 pin IC, dual inline package IC. And it operates at plus 5 volts power supply. So if we talk about features of 8051, Now, in the case of microcontrollers, there are two types of memory, program memory and the data memory. So, this 8051 microcontroller, it has 64 kilobytes of on-chip program memory. 64 kilobytes or we can say 4096 bytes. sixty four kilobytes on chip program memory means that this memory is also available on the same chip on which the microcontroller is present. Also it has one twenty eight bytes of on chip data memory. So this microcontroller it will have program memory and data memory present on the same chip and program memory is of 64 kilobytes and data memory is of 128 bytes. Now 8051 microcontroller it has four register bands from bank 0 to bank 3 and these register bands they can be used as uh, there are multi functions for these bands so we can say that 8051 it has four register bands bank 0 to bank 3 okay next feature is it has 128 user defined software flags flags are used to indicate the conditions of the uh, internal conditions of the registers so if we want to uh, to use these flags we have in the case of 8051 we have 128 user defined software flags so user can define these flags in the case of uh, in the programs and they can be used to know the conditions of the internal registers Now uh, for memory we have various addresses whenever we want to address uh, or use the memory we will have to address the memory locations. So in 8051 we have 64 kilobytes of each the program and external RAM addressability means uh, 64 kilobytes of the program memory and the external RAM memory they can be addressed we have addresses for the memory locations. Now this addressability of the memory it can be either bit addressability or byte addressability okay. So we can say that in the 8051 we have a bit addressability also and byte addressability also.
In microcontroller, we have the crystal and this crystal provide the clock frequency to the microcontrollers. So in H051, we have 12 megahertz crystal and uh, this uh, crystal will provide the clock frequency and uh, this clock frequency or clock pulses, they are used in the instruction cycles. So because here we are using the crystal which is of a very high uh, frequency, 12 megahertz, so it will provide the instruction cycle of one microsecond this means that the speed of execution of the instructions it is very fast in 8051 microcontroller because it is taking only one microsecond to execute the instruction Now, uh, because uh, we are having the 40 pins of the uh, 8051, so out of those 40 pins, we have 32 bidirectional input output pins, which are organized as the four 8 bit ports or the four register bands that I have told earlier. So these are these. Uh, bands they can be used as an input output ports also and because they are acting as input line also and output line also so they are bi-directional so out of the 40 pins we have the 32 pins which are the bi-directional input output ports Now, these microcontrollers, they can be used for serial communication and for that, we use the serial ports. So, here the serial ports in 8051, they can be used in multiple modes and also they are uh, very high speed programmable ports. We can program these ports in different kinds of modes and also there are various modes in which they can be operated. So, the serial ports, they can be operated in multiple modes and they are programmable. Talking about the timers and the counters in 8051, we have two multiple mode 16 bit timers and counters. These timers and counters, they can be operated in various types of modes also. So timers and counters, they are uh, there are two timers and counters and they are uh, 16 bit and they can be operated in various modes. Now talking about the interrupts, we have different interrupts for 8051 and these interrupts they are divided into various priorities and these uh, priority levels, there are two priority levels in the 8051. So we can say that they, we are having two level prioritized interrupt structure. We have various interrupts and these interrupts, they are divided into priority levels. Now, uh, in the memory, we have the stack which is used for temporary storage. So, in 8051, there is a full depth stack for the subroutine return linkage and data storage. So, for uh, these stack, they can be used for data storage also and for writing the subroutines. Subroutines are the short programs which are written uh, at a different memory location other than the main program. So, that memory location will be the stack where these subroutines and and the temporary data it can be stored. Now the arithmetic and logical operations performed by the microcontroller they can be in the binary notation or in the decibel notation. So we have it uh, uh, it is compatible with the binary arithmetic also and decimal arithmetic also. Thank <laughs> you. 
now uh, as i have said that uh, in microcontrollers we have different flags and these flags they uh, indicate about the internal conditions of the operations that after operating the arithmetic and logical operations what kind of uh, condition is achieved in the internal registers so uh, talking about the flags we have sign flag overflow flag and parity flag in the case of 8051 so we can say that 8051 it uh, it can detect the sign overflow and the parity conditions also so as i have said that the speed of processing of the 8051 it is very fast because it is having the crystal frequency as 12 megahertz and only 1 microsecond is taken in instruction cycle so if we want to perform the multiplication and division in 8051 it can be uh, completed in 4 microseconds okay so very less time is taken to complete the task of multiplication and division when microcontrollers uh, 8051 it is used for the control applications it has an integrated boolean processor uh, processor which can be used for the control applications and when we are using the microcontrollers with the microprocessors so this 8051 it is uh, compatible with all the microprocessor software with the existing 8084 software so these are some of the features of the 8051 microcontroller main features are that it has 64 kilobytes of program memory on chip program memory and 128 bytes of on chip data memory 40 pin ic is there operates at 5 volts power supply and it has four register banks and these register banks they can be operated as ports as an input output ports okay and it has two 16 bit timers and counters okay it has interrupts also which are divided into two priority levels so these are the features of the 8051 microcontroller so i hope that this topic is clear to you thank you